I'm Pamela Van Meer, Corp. 411, and we are in Lindsay today at Victoria Park where the B bus has pulled up. It's the Ontario Bee Rescue Group, and they're here because, uh, as you know, the city of Fourth Lakes recently uh, became the seventh um, community in Canada to become a designated bee city. And we have Bruce and Joanne. Hi there. Hi, Hi. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Thanks for coming, you guys. Tell me a little bit about Ontario Bee Rescue. Well, Ontario Bee Rescue is a collection of beekeepers all over Ontario. There's 55 of us. We're a volunteer group. Um, we run around collecting swarms of bees. So when bees swarm in uh, early spring and summer, uh, some people are still scared of them. So, uh, so they don't spray them. We have uh, all these beekeepers that'll come and get them for free. It's a free service. And we collect them and then take them into an apiary where they can thrive. What would prompt somebody to want to head into a swarm of bees to rescue them? Well, we think it's important. Um, you know, bees are, are responsible for a third of our food. Um, we've, been, we've been killing our planet for years and we're starting to see a shift in people's attitudes and education where they're realizing that natural things are actually more better. Um, and really we want to help. I mean, we're beekeepers, so, you know, they are, not pets, but we feel that way sometimes about them, and, and we love our bees, and we want to help. And, and all the beekeepers that we work with are, are very similar. Um, we're, we don't do this for the money. Uh, big giant bee farms, commercial outfits, they do it for the money. But, but, you know, most beekeepers are hobby people, naturalists, homesteaders, and things like that. So it's really a passion for us. And it's nice to see people moving from wanting to exterminate, get rid of, kill the bees at all costs, to actually rescuing them and saving them now. And we have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, pest control companies calling us now. So they get called in wow. when they find out they're honeybees. They're like, no, we're not going to kill them, and they'll call us in. That's amazing. Yeah. And uh, Joanne, tell me a little bit about your uh, necklace and the initiative behind it. Okay, well, um, everything that we, we do, uh, you know, have get with our bees, uh, the honey and whatnot, we, uh, anything, any money we raised goes right back into the Ontario Bee Rescue. So this is a necklace that I made and it's called Her Life's Work and it's about half a teaspoon of honey and that's as much honey as a bee will make in its entire life. Wow. So it puts it in perspective of how badly we need bees and how many we need. It definitely, definitely yeah. does. And um, so I guess let's get down to some of the nitty gritty with actually when you're rescuing the bees. I heard someone else ask you, Bruce, how often you're stung. Yeah, I get stung all the time. It's, it's, you get used to it, it's not a big deal. I'd rather be stung by a bee than bit by a mosquito. Uh, bee sting hurts for 15 seconds and then it gets warm and itchy and, uh, and, then, and then the next day it's gone. And a, a mosquito bite will bother me for three days. So I'd, I'd rather get stung than bit by a mosquito any day. <laughs> I agree, actually. And Joanne, uh, the necklaces, how much are they and how can people get them? Oh, if they go to our, um, uh, you can go to OntarioBeeRescue.com or MeadowLilyFarm.com and they're $20 and that includes shipping. And all the money goes to the Bee Rescue. Ontario Bee Rescue. Okay, great. And then tell me about Eddie. You brought oh, Eddie yeah. today. Eddie Hi, Bee. Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Bee. And he loves bees, too. Eddie's our mascot. <laughs> yeah. He loves honey. He loves honey. <laughs> Dogs love honey and it's really good for them, so. Great. Yeah. And so uh, you're traveling across the um, country basically, uh, raising awareness and letting people know uh, about your services. Where are you heading to next? Well, we're heading, our, our, our goal, uh, our, our destination is Glace Bay, Nova Scotia. So we're going right to the edge of Canada. Uh, all along the way, we are in touch with different beekeepers, different apiaries, um, and the press to talk about what we're doing. Um, but we're we're all over the place. We have friends that are beekeepers. We have people that are part of the rescues that we haven't met yet. Um, and that's kind of the idea is to get out there and meet these folks that we work with them. We've met online. Uh, we, we've, we've got them on our list and they work with us as volunteers, but we've never met them in person. So this is a chance for us to get out there and actually meet other beekeepers. And it's a brotherhood. It's not, we're not competitive with each other at all. We're all, we're all sharing this passion. So uh, we're, we're on holidays. We do this yeah. for fun when we're on holidays. So, you know. And if people want to follow that journey, what's your Facebook page? Ont on yeah, Ontario Bee Rescue is the best place to find us like, for videos and, and where we're going to be. Okay, great. Thank you so much for joining us today and good luck on your travels Thanks. saving the bees. Save the bees. Ontario Bee Rescue on Facebook. You can head to their uh, Facebook page and check it out.